Hi everyone, it's me Cheryl. I hope you're all alright. I know it's been a while. I say that every time, don't I? But I have a finished product to show you and it's a pair of socks. My hopefully final pair of socks for 2019. And here they are. Well, this is it on the sock mould. Looks pretty dark and you can't really see any detail, can you? Top socks. That's just the nature of the arm. Um, find a space for that. And uh, that's its pair. It does have a heel dog where it's just tucked at the back there. It's how I washed it. But it's a toe up, slip stitch heel. But it's that yarn that's um, speckled. That makes it hard to see. When I first started using it, because it did toe up, I was thinking, oh, I'm not going to like this yarn. But actually it wasn't too bad once I got underway. And the yarn in particular is Rico. Rico Superba Premier Moulin. Moulin. This. Yeah, I was really happy with that. They turned out really well. Currently, I'm still working on the hat I mentioned last time. The Freya, 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 Freya's Freedom hat. And you know I said I was going to add to it. I have. So not only did I do the 41 pattern, the cable pattern, I doubled it and did it on the opposite side. And then I took elements from that pattern and filled in the gaps. So this is, I'm just rolling this brim over here. Because that's what it would be like with a rolled brim. So where does the pattern start? Oh, it actually starts here. So this is the, this is the original pattern repeat. Oh gosh, I don't even know if you can see it. From this marker to this marker. And then that's repeated on the back. But between these two markers, I took elements of that and plop the first one, plop them there. And then this is the, First pattern repeat repeated. The arms in front. I don't know how well you can see this. And then the final bit, which is opposite to what I did, which is the fully in bit. So that's how I've added to this hat. And it's fine. Uh, it can be a bit hard sometimes because <laughs> um, you're using two cable needles for the big, the main the main one. You see this one? There's one there and one there, the big ones. And each time you're using two cable needles. And it's like, oh this is hard. But I can figure it. The first one's absolutely fine. When you get to the second one and you're reading the instructions, it's like, what? That doesn't make any sense. But you've got to follow it because then it's right. Because I've seen people's project page pages, loads of people have done this hat. And one of them I thought, you've done that cable wrong, it, it doesn't look right. And I think, I'm guessing, that they've done it exactly how they thought it should be done rather than following the pattern. Because I nearly did the same thing. I thought, hang on, this doesn't seem right. It, it may be if I do this instead. But I thought, no, 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 do as you're told, just follow the pattern. <laughs> and yeah. It's, it's the right thing to do by following the pattern, so yeah, it's, it's really good. It's turned out lovely. Now that looks like, when you put it together, it looks like it's meant to be one big cable, but there are actually two separate ones there and there. But they're really good. So I'm really pleased with how that's turning out, and it shouldn't be too long before I'm starting on the crown decrease. But it's taken longer than I thought. Bear in mind, I've been working on it for a few weeks at Knit and Natter, and I can't even remember what date it started. Did I actually write it down? No, I didn't. No, I didn't write a date, the beginning date. So, I can only assume... Uh, did I do it in my last video? Did I even show you what I started with? Well, it'll be round about then. <laughs> I may even have said what date it was. The next hat I'm going to do, it's called... Um, it's called the Magic Hat by P is for Parsnip and that's, I got it from Ravelry as well, but what's good about this hat, 
there's a chart, when I say a chart, sorry, I mean a, um, a table, for multiple sizes from preemie to adult, and it tells you how many stitches to cast on, and that's a DK way, DK way to have. It's textured anyway, and it's really nice. So that's completed project. This is nearly finished, and what I'm going to be finishing next. Also in the other room, which I haven't, I didn't bring it in, but I will show you it next time. It's a Zen garden shawl. And I can't remember who makes that. But it, it's a free pattern and I got that free pattern. And I'm crocheting the Zen garden shawl for my mother-in-law. Out of... I will just go and get the yarn. Out of this, this yarn. Which is 50% cotton, 50%... Yes, 50% cotton, 50% acrylic. And it's out of that yarn, actually in that colour, because I have two of these. And it's the Zen Garden Shawl. If you Google the Zen Garden Shawl, you'll see it. It's lovely. That is everything for the moment, and I'm going to um, wrap up here. Next time I will show you the Zen Garden Shawl. I will show you the Vinif finished hat and maybe the other hat in progress hopefully finished because that'll be nice so that is that and i will see you next time take care everyone bye